Hi guys, it's Becky from HairAccessorizer.com. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a double tuxedo bow. For this you will need two lengths of the same ribbon. I've cut these to approximately 8 inches. Some ribbon to cover your clip. A clip and a piece of ribbon to go around the centre which I have cut to approximately 4 inches. You will also need scissors, a glue gun and a lighter. Now first off I'm just going to show you how to heat seal your ribbon. So take your ribbon and a lighter and gently run the flame along the edge. This just prevents any fraying which would make your bow look tatty and a bit old. Now you can tell when your ribbon has been heat sealed because there, it forms a little hard ridge at each end which when you, when you touch it you can feel. So first things first what you need to do is take your first piece of ribbon. Now I've chosen 38mm width. You can do it with smaller or larger ribbon but for this tutorial this is what I've chosen. So you need to fold the ribbon in half and make a predominant crease in the centre. Then you need to open it out and along that crease place a line of glue. Now you want to bring the edge into the centre and push down. Now you want to do exactly the same for the other side, a line of glue, bring the edge to the centre and push down. Now you don't want your, where, they, where it meets in the centre you don't want them overlapping, you just want them just nicely meeting. Now you want to put that to one side and do exactly the same with your other ribbon. Fold it in half to make a nice crease. Place a line of glue along the crease. Fold the edge to the centre and push down. And the same for the other side. Now what you want to do is take your first ribbon that you did, hold it with the front facing you and fold in half. Make a little pinch at the back so that when you open it out it gives you a little crease in the middle and then right on that crease you want to place a little dab of glue in the centre and then pinch that together. Now once the glue has dried, what you now want to do is fold from front to back, so fold these edges to the back, holding it nicely so that you get that same crease line. And once you have those creases, you want to place a blob of glue push down and hold until the glue is dried. Now you want to turn it over and do the same for the other side. Little blob of glue. Fold it back and hold in place. Now once that glue is dried you want to place that ribbon to one side and do exactly the same with your second ribbon. So fold it in half, make the crease, blob of glue in the crease, 
and pinch until the glue is dry. Once that's dry, you want to fold front to back. Again, making the creases, so a nice firm pinch. Little blob of glue. And hold in place. And the same for the other side. Now sometimes it can take a little while, while for the glue to hold and to dry, but it's definitely worth just pinching it in place so that it all stays together and when you're putting your two bows together like I'll show you in a minute, it keeps it all firm and nicely in place without any of your bows popping open. You can also take off any of the excess strands of glue. And done. Now what you want to do is take both. See, as you can see, I didn't hold this one for quite enough time. So all I'm going to do there is add a little bit more glue, push it back in place and just make sure I hold it there firmly. Once that's done, you need to now position your bows. Now I find it easiest to flatten the bows a little bit, just so you have more access to that centre line. And then you want to take one of your bows, it doesn't matter which, and place some glue. Take your other bow and connect them, just in the centre. Push them firmly together and hold in place until your glue is dried. And there is the basis of your bow. <coughs> Excuse me. Now what you want to do is take the centre ribbon that we've chosen at the beginning. Apply some glue. I'm just going to add another tube of glue in there. Want to apply some glue to the centre. And push your ribbon just onto the back. Now once that's dried, you want to pull the centre ribbon through so you know where it's going and you know your bows are sitting nicely. And you want to apply some glue to the underside and push that down. Some glue to the front. Down. The whole time making sure you're pulling that ribbon so that it's given a nice secure hold for both of the bows. Now as you can see there is going to be some excess ribbon but that's perfectly fine. I'd rather have too much than too little because you can cut it off like I'm going to do now. So see where your ribbon will end at the back and just snip it off. Now you want to take your lighter, just run it along the edge, just to heat seal that part as well. Now you want to put some glue onto this edge bit of the ribbon, push it up and hold in place. Make sure that the glue covers the entire edges in the centre of the ribbon. 
and just pull away any excess strands of glue that you've accumulated. And there is your basic tux double tuxedo bow. I'm just going to set that to one side while I take the clip. Now for this I'm just going to open the clip up, place a blob of glue on the end, push my ribbon down onto it, making sure it's got a nice, nice join between the clip and the ribbon. And I'm going to turn it over, run a line of glue along the whole of the clip, and bring the ribbon up and over. Now it doesn't matter if this isn't perfect because this part of the, the clip isn't actually going to be seen. I just think it gives it a more professional look and it helps the bow attach to the clip as well. Now I'm going to turn it over just in the handle of the clip pop a little bit of glue and push that in and down. And again for the other side, just push that in, and there you go, there's your covered clip. Now I'm going to bring back my bow, make sure I'm happy with the positioning, give it a bit of a fiddle and push about, and I'm going to turn it to the back. Place a decent amount of glue and then push the clip on. And there you have it, your double tuxedo bow. Thanks ever so much for watching guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I shall be back for more soon. Bye!